On Tuesday, Pelosi will call a Capitol Police officer called Harry Dunn. Dunn will pretend to speak for the country's law enforcement community. But it turns out Dunn has very little in common with your average cop. Dunn is an angry left-wing political activist whose social media feeds are full of praise, not coincidentally, for Nancy Pelosi. Here's a picture of the two of them together. Racism is so American, Harry Dunn wrote in one post, that when you protest it, people think you're protesting America. Hashtag, leave it to whites to tell blacks what is racist. Hashtag, I stand with Elon Omar. Hashtag, squad. Just another fact-based witness to the insurrection. Uh, U.S. Capitol Police, I'm reading for the uh, Washington Post. This is the U.S. Capitol Police, Harry Dunn. Uh, and he said that the attacks that black law enforcement agents endured on January 6th were not just physical, but verbal. Now, obviously, Harry Dunn is a U.S. Capitol Police officer. He was there. He's giving testimony about what he experienced. And these are the officers who stood between the January 6th insurrectionist terrorists and the fall of this country. Right. Let's be sure that the stakes that were up on January 6th was the entire entirety of the American political system. That's what those maggots wanted to take down on January 6th. And the people who were standing in the way, blocking them, protecting this democracy were the Capitol Police, of which Harry Dunn was one. Um, Tucker Carlson doesn't like that fact. And so he's started to attack him. Uh, describing him in a way that will sound familiar to you because anytime a black person steps out of line, this is the type of attacks we see from the white supremacist power structure in this country. Let's take a look at the first clip. What's the answer? Of course, she doesn't have one. Speaking of disingenuous. So the committee will proceed with one party. What will it look like? We'll think MSNBC with subpoena power. On Tuesday, Pelosi will call a Capitol Police officer called Harry Dunn. Dunn will pretend to speak for the country's law enforcement community. But it turns out Dunn has very little in common with your average cop. Dunn huh? is an angry left-wing political activist whose social media feeds are full of praise, not coincidentally, for Nancy Pelosi. Here's a picture of the two of them together. Racism is so American, Harry Dunn wrote in one post, that when you protest it, people think you're protesting America. Hashtag, leave it to whites to tell blacks what is racist. Hashtag, I stand with Elon Omar. Hashtag, squad. Harry Dunn, ladies and gentlemen, just another fact-based witness to the insurrection. I want to I, I, I want to point out a couple of things in this clip that he's doing. One, did you notice he started running down some hashtags, but he didn't attribute the hashtags? You see how he put the tweet on screen? He put the tweet on screen of Harry Dunn as a way of undermining Harry Dunn. And then he added on a whole bunch of. Now, if those hashtags had actually been used by Harry Dunn, do you not think for a second that Tucker Carlson would not have put those hashtags on the screen? But that little detail, that little little modicum of truth is not important to Tucker Carlson because he needs to make white folks angry because here's a black man who stood on the side of American democracy. I, oh, he likes, uh, he likes Nancy Pelosi. Well, you would think that a, cap a U.S. Capitol police officer who literally, whose job is literally to protect the U.S. Capitol would have a relationship with the Speaker of the House of the United States Congress, who is Speaker Nancy Pelosi. But that is a sign. The mere fact that this black man has a relationship with Nancy Pelosi is now a sign to Tucker Carlson that we should dismiss him and that he is no one to be listened to. Because, oh, by the way, the very first thing that Tucker Carlson did was to make sure that you know that he is an angry. He didn't say black man, but the dog whistle. Tucker, you're not talented. You don't know how to finesse the dog whistles like your predecessors. Barry Goldwater knew how to do dog whistles. William F. Buckley knew how to do dog whistles. You're a talentless hack who does not have, know how to do dog whistles because we hear it loudly and clearly. What you wanted to say was that this was an angry black man, but you instead said he was an angry leftist. Let's play the clip one more time. Speaking of disingenuous, so the committee will proceed with one party. What will it look like? We'll think MSNBC with subpoena power. On Tuesday, Pelosi will call a Capitol Police officer called Harry Dunn. Dunn will pretend to speak for the country's law enforcement community. But it turns out Dunn has very little in common with your average cop. Dunn is an angry left-wing political activist. Right whose social media feeds are full of praise. He has nothing in common when you're at, with your average cop. I agree. Because he does not have the political ideology of white supremacy resonating, pulsating in his blood. He has 
liberation pulsating in his blood. He is not your average cop, because if you ask me, your average cop is probably a Donald Trump supporter. That's why they would rather fly the thin blue line flag than the American flag, because they have found American democracy not to be inconvenient for their white supremacy. And that's why they marched up the steps on January 6th. And that's why it was a black man who stood in the way of your white supremacy, Tucker Carlson. That's why you are pissed. I want to bring up a, um, a, a statement from um, Officer Dunn, and uh, this is what he said in response to Tucker Carlson. He said, tonight, Fox News allowed its host, Tucker Carlson, who has not served a day in uniform, whether military or law enforcement, to criticize the heroism and service of African-American U.S. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn, our client has served 13 years in law enforcement and on January 6, 2021, fought against an insurrectionist violent crowd, no doubt many of them Carlson's supporters, to protect the lives of our elected officials, including Vice President Pence. Officer Dunn, who would lay down his life to protect a member of Congress, regardless of being a Republican or a Democrat, will testify next Tuesday before the House Select Committee investigating the events of the insurrection. Frankly, the last thing Tucker Carlson wants is for the truth to emerge of what happened on that day and why. And that is a statement from David H. Lofman Esquire uh, and Wiggins and Dana PLLC and Mark Z. Esquire. Those are the attorneys for uh, U.S. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn.